welcome to AM Inspiration. As always guys, you know I gotta take uh, the first few seconds of this video just to say thank you all with the utmost gratitude. Um, again, it's something I don't take for granted. Alright guys, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and dive right into this one. The title of this video is Don't Be Afraid. When I think about that statement, I think about a lot of things and a lot of moments, a lot of moments of clarity. I would say one moment that really stands out in particular, I'm going to choose this moment because this was, uh, this was something, this was a moment that happened before a monumental transition in my life. And it was from pretty much moving from Florida to New York to attend my, um, my acting college. And so I had got accepted into my acting college and I was very excited about it. And at the time I was still working at my uncle's pharmacy in Florida. So definitely a lot of a lot of uh, mixed emotions about it. Again, I knew that it was a wonderful thing and I knew that it was something that, that needed to be done because I'm an actor. But um, at the same time though, it was very tough because I knew in my heart that there was no reason for me to come back to Florida to live. So leaving my friends and family in that aspect was, a, was such a challenge. Even though I, I even know that I knew I was gonna come back to visit them, it was still a challenge to say the least. And so I remember in particular, a moment in particular where I'm speaking to my uncle and I'm like, okay, all right, so I know leaving in October, uh, I want to be back here for Thanksgiving, I want to be back for Christmas and so on, right? So my mom was always constantly thinking about all the times I wanted to come back. And I remember he said something that I'll never forget. He looked at me and said, I want you to keep this in mind that you're going to be doing so much networking out there that this stuff, it won't be on your mind as much. Trust it that everything is going to take care of itself, but I promise you that you're going to be doing so much out there that, again, it, it, it's, not, it's not going to be on your mind as much. It's not going to be on your mind as much because you're going to be growing so much, networking and so on. And I always remembered it because he was exactly right. Um, as I made that transition to New York, that is exactly what happened. I did a lot of networking, a lot of growth, tremendous growth um, in a short amount of time just from leaving Florida and moving to New York. And he also said something else to me that I, I literally take everywhere I go, which is, if you don't go, you don't grow. If you don't go, you're not gonna grow mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and so on, if you're constantly staying in the same spot. And once again, uh, it made an indelible impression on me because it all resonates truth when I think about my life. When I think about everything that I've experienced to this moment from moving from Florida to New York to California, there's been a lot of, there's been tremendous growth in the process. Growth that I wouldn't have experienced if I would have stayed stagnant, if I would have stayed in the very same spot. I would have, I would have never learned the things that I've learned. I would have never experienced the things that, have I, that I have experienced at this very moment. So. I say that to say this, I don't know where you guys, I don't know where you find yourself at in life. I know that, again, just, you know, you know we, we go through a lot and, and sometimes as life happens, I feel like when things are a challenge, I think maybe initially we have courage as we go throughout the day, right? But then life happens and maybe sometimes things don't exactly go the way that we desired it to go. And what will happen to the majority of us is that that courage that we once had is now replaced with fear. And now, we start to become a little bit afraid to really do anything, to really do the things that we really desire. Because fear is in the back of our mind saying, what if this doesn't work out? You know, what are you gonna do then? All those thoughts start to creep into your mind and so on. And of course, you know, you, you know this video, what I really want you guys to take from it, and again, let it be a reminder, watch it as many times as you need to watch it, that those fearful thoughts it's not the truth. It's not the truth. They don't exist. It's literally just in your mind. It's a figment of your imagination right now. What's truth is, is what's truth is this very moment right now. This is truth. This moment. Everything is fine right now in this very moment and so on. So what you do with this moment, it's, it's truly up to you. But what I encourage you all to do with the moments is to be fearless in the moments. Whatever it is that you desire, don't be afraid to go after it. 
you know, as you, you know, as we're living this life, we're meant to grow, we're meant to evolve as human beings, and to not do that, you'll always have a feeling inside, a feeling inside, a deep feeling inside, saying there has to be more, or is this it? Is this it? Is this is this all that my life, you know, is, and so on? And guys, the world is beautiful. It really all depends on what you put your focus on. But when you really sit down and ponder it, there's 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 so many beautiful creations out here to experience. And you're not going to experience it by being afraid. You'll experience it by being fearless, by going out there and just doing it. So this applies to this applies to living situations. It applies to job situations as well. This applies to relationships. I don't know. I don't know exactly where you find yourself at as you watch this video. It could be maybe you know you, you have a job or so on. Maybe you had that job for X amount of years. And you want something different now. But that fearful thought is in the back of your mind. Well, what if it doesn't work out? Well, I'm here to say to you, what if it does work out? What if it's the most beautiful thing ever that was waiting on the other side of your fear? And you just need to take the first step, the first action. And then everything would begin to work out for your favor and so on. I say that to you. I say that to you if you're in a job situation. I say that if you're in a relationship situation as well. I think, uh, I mean, again, I, I've met many people. You know, it could be maybe, as I'm speaking to a woman, maybe maybe you was in a, a, long, a, a long relationship, maybe three, five-year relationship and so on. And maybe, you know, you, you met someone else now. And... You're afraid. I mean, maybe the individual is treating you right and so on and everything is flawed, but there's always that fear in the back of your mind that, that what if this person treats me the same and so on? What if they do me the same exact way? That fear is it's always there. And I say to you, don't be afraid. What if it's everything that you dreamed of? What if it's more beautiful than you can ever imagine, but you just have to take the first step? Or maybe to... You know, maybe to the guy, maybe one, you know, same situation, maybe, maybe you was in a relationship for quite some time and, you know, all of a sudden you met someone and it was like, oh man, this is not really part of the plan. I wanted to date X amount of girls before I get into a serious relationship again and so on. And I think a lot of times what happens in that type of situation is that you, you know, you're thinking about what, you're thinking about what you may be losing. And what I would say to you is shift that focus. You're not losing anything. Think about what you're gaining versus what you think you're losing. In other words, shift the focus from quantity, quality. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So again, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time out to watch it. I truly appreciate each and every one of you all. And have a wonderful day and a beautiful week. Thank you, guys.